Most people in Berkeley view the presence of the university as a positive, but the university's behavior over the last 10 years has been a real negative. Now at 10, no more students welcome. Why UC Berkeley is being told to freeze its enrollment process. Thank you for joining us on Crown Point News at 10. I'm Pam Moore. And I'm Ken Wayne. A judge has ruled that the university's growing number of admissions is now having a negative effect on the community from housing to noise levels. Crown Force Dan Thorne has the story from Berkeley. The university will have to freeze enrollment to this school year's level. A group called Save Berkeley's Neighborhoods has been pushing the university to add more housing before adding more students. And they say by doing this, it'll help curb a number of issues. Adding students without adding housing. UC Berkeley is being ordered by a judge to stop rising enrollment because of the impact on the university's neighbors. The university has not uh, been a good neighbor. Phil Bakavoy is president of Save Berkeley's Neighborhoods. The group's mission is to protect the quality of life in the area, which they feel has diminished as the university's admissions have grown. There isn't enough housing for the students, and they're doubled and tripled and quadrupled up. I mean, I've heard stories of, you know, four students living in a one-bedroom apartment. An Alameda County judge found the university's rising enrollment has also caused displacement and unacceptable noise within the surrounding communities. Bakavoy wants the school to come up with mitigation plans. Some students tell Cron 4 News housing and the cost of housing is a big issue. It's terrible. Everyone I know has had issues finding housing, especially affordable housing. It's ridiculously overpriced. A university spokesperson responded to the judge's order, saying there are no plans to grow the university more than 1%. The school is also confident they'll be able to continue after the judge put a hold on a large development project. The behavior of the current administration uh, has been we're going to do what we want to do and we don't really care about the impacts that it has on the city or the neighborhoods. The city of Berkeley and the university recently agreed on a settlement of $83 million over the school's impact on the community. But Bakavoy says that this is not enough because it does not require the school to add more housing or mitigate the issues of growth. Reporting in Berkeley, Dan Thorne, Cron 4 News.